you a cop. You got you a girlfriend. My wife tells me you're her new boss. Very sexy mouth. A very sexy married mouth. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to recapping the movie The Ledge. Detective Hollis goes to a fertility clinic to donate sperm, but the doctor informs him that he is infertile. Shocked by the news since he already has two children, Hollis is interrupted by a fellow officer reporting that a man named Gavin is about to jump off a building. Hollis tries to calm Gavin down and asks him some questions. Gavin reveals that he has no choice but to stay on the ledge until noon, otherwise someone else will die. With over an hour left, Gavin begins to tell his story to Hollis. He first saw Shauna when she and her partner moved into his apartment building. They rode the same bus and smiled at each other. Later, Gavin, who works as a hotel manager, was surprised when Shauna applied for a job on his staff. After a brief interview, Gavin hires Shauna to start work right away. He later tells his gay friend Chris about his new employee. Coincidentally, Shauna and Gavin are neighbors who also work together, leading Chris to suggest she could be destined for Gavin. Gavin rejects the idea since Shauna is married. Soon after, Shauna and her husband Joe knock on Gavin's door to introduce themselves. Joe invites Gavin and Chris over for dinner sometime, which they gladly accept. One evening, Gavin and Chris arrive at the couple's apartment. When Joe asks Shauna to fetch some wine, Gavin goes to the kitchen to help and chat with her. Mistakenly thinking Gavin and Chris are a gay couple, Joe prays for them, calling it an abomination. Offended, Gavin abruptly leaves. It turns out the couple are devout fundamentalists. Later, at a hotel, Shauna apologizes to Gavin for the previous night's events. Gavin invites her to lunch, where Shauna shares about her abusive childhood. When Gavin offers her a drink, he is shocked to see Shauna open the bottle with her teeth, hinting at a drinking problem despite her modest demeanor. They discuss Gavin's friend Chris, and Shauna learns how Gavin took Chris in when he lost his job due to his HIV-positive status being discovered. Back in the present moment, Hollis receives a phone call from his wife Angela, which he abruptly ends. This triggers a flashback to that morning when his children excitedly ran to greet him. Hollis then confronts his wife, demanding to know whose children they are. As he is angry about, being deceived into believing, they were his own for years. After this flashback, the story returns to Gavin, as he continues recounting events to Shanna. Joe apologizes for assuming Gavin was gay, but warns that if he does not change, he will go to hell. Gavin deflects by saying they should discuss homosexuals in hell another time, as he is late for work. Before parting ways, Joe invites Gavin to get together on Wednesday night. While riding the bus, Gavin confides in Shanna that he too was once married, but his wife left him. He starts flirting with her until she reminds him she is married. When they meet on Wednesday night, Joe preaches to Gavin about their religion. As an atheist, Gavin argues that it is ridiculous to believe only born-again people will be saved pointing out that a child in China hit by a bus without ever hearing about their religion would go straight to hell. Joe argues that spreading the gospel is important. Their disagreement escalates into a yelling match until Shauna interrupts and asks Gavin to leave. She tries talking to her husband, but he tells her to get out. The next day, Shauna confides in Gavin about her past as a drug addict and call girl. One day, her pimp sent her to a man who assaulted her in a church. After the attack, the man beat Shauna so severely she could barely walk. Joe found her the next morning and took her to the hospital so she feels indebted to him. Shauna asks Gavin to stay away and he sadly agrees. Three weeks later, Shauna sees Gavin comforting a grieving staff member and seems impressed. That evening, while Gavin smokes outside, Shauna joins him. He invites her stargazing and kisses her, but she stops him and leaves. Joe sees her out late and grows suspicious. The next day, Shauna goes to Gavin's office and kisses him, but someone knocks on the door, so Gavin tells Shauna he will book a hotel room and email her the details. While Shauna is taking a bath later, her husband Joe reads the email, though luckily Gavin used a previous employee's address, so Joe remains unaware it is from Gavin. Shauna tells Joe she has to cover someone's shift at a hotel that evening, so she has to leave. She then goes to the hotel room where Gavin has been waiting. Unbeknownst to Shauna, Joe followed her there. Shauna and Gavin make love, and when Shauna leaves the room afterward, Joe sees her kiss a man but can't identify who it is. The following day, 
Gavin asks Shauna to leave her husband. Shauna says she feels both scared and sorry for Joe, but also that she has become estranged from Joe and can only think about Gavin, who says he feels the same way. That evening, Joe has to leave for a church matter. With Joe gone, Shauna goes to Gavin's hotel room, not knowing Joe is hiding nearby. The two make love again, while a heartbroken Joe listens at the door. After making love, Gavin reveals that he had a daughter who died two years ago in a car accident. He blamed himself because he was driving when a truck was about to hit them, and he turned the wheel the wrong way, resulting in the truck hitting his daughter's side of the car. His wife was unable to forgive him for their daughter's death, leading to their separation. Switching to the present, Hollis admits that his wife cheated on him, and he recently discovered the children he thought were his are not biologically his, because he is sterile. Hollis explains that he and his wife struggled to conceive and underwent fertility testing, but he never checked the results because his wife said everything was fine. Months later, they had a child that, unbeknownst to Hollis at the time, his wife conceived through an arrangement with Hollis's own brother so the child would resemble him. Hollis breaks down crying as he tells Gavin all of this and pleads with Gavin to come inside, but Gavin says he wants to, yet feels he cannot. Their conversation gets interrupted by another officer with news about Joe and Shauna. The two have been discovered missing. Gavin continues his story. He and Shauna plan to tell Joe the truth about their affair, but Shauna wants to confess first to their pastor. One day, Joe sees Gavin and Shauna kissing. He books a hotel room, and while Shauna is working a night shift, she is shocked to find her husband there. The next day, Joe invites Gavin to their apartment and reveals his past. Joe was previously married with two children, struggled with substance abuse and sin, lost his job as his wife and kids left him. Hitting rock bottom, he wandered into a church, found God, and was reborn. Feeling saved and believing God gave Shauna to him to care for, Joe thought he had pure love for her until hearing them make love at Gavin's. Suicidal, Joe realizes he shouldn't die. Pointing a gun at Gavin, he makes him read a Bible verse calling for the death of adulterers. But Gavin counters with the New Testament story of Jesus saving an adulteress by challenging only those without sin to cast the first stone. After Joe releases him, Gavin tries calling his wife Shauna, but Joe answers the phone instead. Joe declares he favors the ruthless justice of the Old Testament, but says only one of them has to die, rather than both. He threatens Gavin that he has Shauna at gunpoint and will shoot her at noon unless Gavin jumps from a building. Detective Hollis urges Gavin that if he had confided the truth earlier, they could have found Joe. Gavin admits he could have killed Shauna himself. He implores Hollis to forgive Shauna for the children's sake, saying she only strayed because she feared losing Gavin. Joe and Shauna watch from across the way as Gavin stands atop the building. With minutes left, Hollis begs Gavin not to jump. Gavin asks the detective to tell Shauna he loves her, glancing one last time at his daughter's photo. Thinking he doesn't want the same fate for Shauna, Gavin kisses the picture as the bell tolls, then leaps. The crowd gasps in shock as Joe collapses on the road. Moments later, police find Joe and Shauna in a hotel room and arrest him. At the station, Hollis tells Shauna that Gavin loves her. She thanks him before dreadfully looking at her praying husband in his jail cell as she leaves. That evening, Detective Hollis sits crying in his car as he watches his family inside the house. He decides to join them. His children greet him as he enters, and they dine together. Hollis seems ready to forgive his wife. I thought I was done.